This is Mike Callahan, Dr. FileFinder, and welcome to your Butterscotch.com tutorial on how to organize your Windows desktop. This is part one of two. We've all seen people that have a desktop that's completely covered with icons. Now it was all I could do to get my desktop to be this messy, but it at least gives you an example. And one thing that you can do is to try to lump things into categories because the majority of computer users use very few programs all the time and the rest of the programs on your computer you use occasionally. So first you want to right click go to arrange icons by and you want to make sure that arrange auto arrange is off. This will allow you to and also turn off align to grid. This will allow you to put like things together so we have these here, and these seem to be related, put those together. So we've got those. Now some of these are utilities, here's some more of those. So what we're doing is we're putting things together by what they're related. These are all part of one program, these are all part of a program, and both of those programs are utilities. So what we can do is make a folder right click say new folder what comes up we'll call it MISC for miscellaneous now I can take these and I can drag all of them into the miscellaneous folder now I'm going to take and make another folder because folders take up a lot less room than all those programs and files and we'll call this one utilities and these are utilities they're programs that I use very seldom so I'm going to drag them and put them in this utilities folder my Tai Chi practice so all of these things I'm dragging getting them out of the way I don't need an antivirus icon on my desktop, another utility, looking around, looking at things that I don't need to have right here on my desktop. I don't need to have the icon for Adobe Reader on my desktop. So I'm going to continue to do this. Now, you can see that I have moved nearly all of these icons into this utilities folder, programs that I use very seldom, or that will come up without me having to use the icon. Miscellaneous, I've got all those files that were in the way on the desktop, and we'll conclude the rest in part two.